Hi, it's Deborah from Beacon of Light, and today is Wednesday, October 30th. It's almost Halloween. All right, so today we have the Trick or Treat deck and the Halloween Forever Oracle. Um, thank you, everyone, for your comments and your likes. I do appreciate it. Let's see what today's energy is going to be all about for this wonderful Wednesday. We have a couple cards here coming out. One more card. There we go. And one from the Oracle. There it is. Okay, so we have a Five of Pentacles in Reverse. Then we have a Three of Cups. And then we have a Nine of Pentacles. And then we have Fire Ritual, which looks great next to this carnelian there. Okay, so Five of Pentacles, with it being in reverse, it's we're coming out of a phase. We are allowing ourselves to go through this transformation. Fives are about change. And sometimes that change is very uncomfortable and it pushes us a little bit further outside of our comfort zone. And what it's trying to create here is some sort of community uh, celebration with this Three of Cups. I find it interesting that's coming with this Nine of Pentacles because it's whatever it's pushing you to come out of this Five of Pentacles energy where you're feeling as if you've been left out and now it is you're being included, it's abundant. So there is a reward. I think yesterday we talked about risk and reward in that video and today we may see the fruits of our labor we may see this reward coming into play but it didn't come without you know getting possibly burned or scorned or even having to go through a very difficult time that was you know painful to some extent because we had to burn away that or first of all, we had to acknowledge that there was something still there burning inside of us. And the only way to truly exhaust that burn is to bring it to a full flame so that we could see what it is and then find some sort of remedy or uh, reason to put that out for good. So there, there has been these initiation periods that we've been going through that's you know, igniting something inside of us that really wants to be free. And we're coming to a point, and it might be this Scorpio no moon that's coming up on Friday that is so important for all of us to initiate a brand new beginning, the transformation, the Scorpio um, death and rebirth final phase of the push back into a rebirthing stage with this being a new moon. So we are feeling today, oh, and I'm getting goosebumps as I'm saying this. Um, we are definitely feeling the rebirthing, this reemergence where we are seeing the rewards for all the risks that we are taking. We are seeing something in the physical world because this is a pinnacle. We are seeing the fruits of our labor just, you know, in front of us. It's because we went through that ritual, because we had to go deep inside to discover and uncover what was still burning inside of us so that we could extinguish it for good. That's how I'm feeling. And I hope that this resonates with other people. I'm hoping you're coming out of a phase that was difficult and you're ready to move into a time of great abundance in your life. Everybody have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.